All right, guys, so on the FXRT, you saw a glimpse of it uh, on the fairing over there. Got uh, the bracket here, and we did have to do a little bit of uh, figuring on this. So um, what we did in order to make it wide enough to fit the touring frame, which it lands perfectly in the top touring bolt there, okay, and then on this, uh, it really angles it up too high. It, if you use the sleeve, it's supposed to be a sleeve down in there and it's really hard to see, but it's just a bolt. Anyway, so it's resting. It, is, it essentially allows it to pivot down against this bolt. And where you run the bolt up and down can change the angle of this. Uh, normally it would have the sleeve because there'd be more space there. Uh, on this one, uh, I just used the bolt, used a couple washers on each side of it. And then I used a washer just on the nut side of all of these. So you can see where that all goes in there. Um, I used, and this thing comes with a bunch of washers anyways. I did have to get some uh, of the ones we had, but I ended up doing four of the washers on each of those. And then this is a little bit thicker because it has this plate, but on the back back here, I just did two washers on the inside <clears throat> near the frame. So that got all of that together and now it's really really stable and seems like that will work it is kicked up a little bit uh which is fine uh because i was going to drill another hole down here and like move it down further uh but i think being kicked up is fine because i'm going to end up raising the bike back up because i did slam it three inches i'm going to put it back up to stock and that will actually kick the nose down a little bit and then you're still going to have adjustment in the headlight and, and everything too so that's not shouldn't be a big deal there uh so now i'm going to try to test fit the fairing itself all right guys it's mounted it actually don't look too bad from this angle you get to about right there so yeah this ain't gonna work so the bracket here is too long so i'm thinking that i'm gonna have to cut out kind of section it down pull this bag it looks like i can get three or four inches out of it so if i can do that it don't have to be touching this but it needs to be pretty close out here to look correct because that looks way too far out there and it's easier to move that because this kind of rest here you know all right guys that looks way better that uh fixed my big gap there so now it's pulled in about right and set up essentially like a like a road glide like a modern road glide is now um did have to work in the mount you see where I cut it apart, uh, kind of had to section a piece of it out, and then I changed the angle just slightly, and I tacked it back together just to throw it back on here, just to be able to see essentially where this thing lands at. So that looks pretty dang good. I think it's gonna look awesome. I changed the angle mainly to fix this line because it's, to me, it just looks like it should flow directly into that. So that's about right. And like I said, the back end's gonna come up some and that'll angle the front down. Headlight's also adjustable, should be good. Uh, gonna get that welded up. And I've got some kicker speakers going in here. I've got a marine type radio that's just black. Um, it's a Polk, but uh, should be fine. This is a standard den size, but the stock radio will not work in there because it's like eight inches. It's not, not a standard size. So got another one coming in. I've got the controller to make my buttons still work. So that'll be good, you don't have to reach up and mess with it. Still working on uh, fitting the gauges into this and figuring out what I'm gonna do there, but that's about it uh, for now until I get uh, some other stuff in. It's definitely gotta move the, the handlebars might actually work, but I'm gonna change them anyways. I mean, not the handlebars, but the front. Uh, but I've got different handlebars and stuff. The handlebars will definitely not work because they're way too wide for this. So the steering is kind of stuck in that position until I take the front end back off. So that looks pretty good though. So I'm excited. Uh, I think this is gonna look really cool once it gets done. That's it, I'll show you the welds here and then I'll be done.
time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. All right, guys, don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating the Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting High Revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com. Mm -hmm.